I was simply just skimming through the comment section of my YouTube. It was saying how they know where I live, they're gonna off me. I guess some of you actually found that comment and was scared by it as well. I get a message on Instagram from my ex's sister. You said your sister was contacted by FBI Frank. That was a lie. <laughs> no, my sister wasn't. Because if she was, I would know about it. The FBI showed up for you. The FBI didn't know I lived here. I'm just going to call the FBI guy uh, Frank. Like, Frank was like, oh my god, like, complimenting me on my following and stuff. The Bro, it's such a pick me. It's such a pick me thing to say. I don't know why Amber even puts herself in positions like this. They're most elaborate lies. Like the thing that you you would say when you were 13 years old and you were at the, you know, the, the you were you were in the cafeteria and you were like, "Oh yeah, my dad works at Microsoft. He's going to ban you, bro. You better watch out, man. You playing Call of Duty, guess what? My dad's going to ban you." This is exactly what that is. Like we have a grown girl sitting here trying to tell you that she was contacted by the FBI. And I don't know the truth behind this, obviously, but a lot of people were saying that it's false, including Becky. So it probably wasn't true. And I just don't understand why Amber feels the need to go so drastic on certain things, bro. Why does she feel the need to get this much attention? Like, I understand it. You're a very prolific creator on the internet. But to sit there and try to be like, the FBI, the FBI contacted me and they said I was pretty and they said that also that I had a good following on YouTube and now I'm friends with the FBI. What are you talking about, bro? Like, why, <laughs> why are you going that far? It doesn't need to be that, it doesn't need to be that deep. Lady who actually uh, did my mammogram, she was probably in her late 20s and she was just so sweet and my boobs were all up in her face. And as I was leaving, she was like, I don't want to make this awkward and I'm definitely not hitting on you, but you are really beautiful. And I just... Bro, the most unprofessional shit ever, bro. And look, I've been out with like really, really pretty girls and I've had those really, really weird all like random encounters of like you being at the deli and some random woman walks up like, oh my God, I don't mean to be like rude or anything, but like, oh my God, you are so pretty. And I'm just looking at this girl like, dude, what about me? Like you, like I gotta get some credit too, right? Like the fact that I'm dating this girl should indicate something like, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm cool too. Like forget about how she looks. Like what about me? You know, like give me a compliment. That happens, that happens a lot. Like I would just, so many compliments from people. Uh, gotta let you know right now, dude, if I was out and a lesbian, I was a lesbian dude and another girl hit me up and was like, I don't want to like make it seem like I'm hitting on you, but like you are so pretty. First of all, that's a lie. That's a crazy ass lie. Who, who would be complimenting Amber Lynn on that? I would love to know that shit because that sounds so ridiculous. That'd be like a guy complimenting me, complimenting me on my melanin capacity. <sighs> Bro, like I'm not saying Amber Lynn is not a beautiful girl. Like, she's got some, mm, I mean, let me, all right, let me stop. Okay, she's, you know, I'm sure somebody could find her attractive. Somebody, somewhere. Uh, she is chronically dying. I heard that she's over, she's out eating the Ozempic. I don't know. But what I do know is that she's bottom of the barrel. If somebody were to tell her that she's pretty, that's going to be an anomaly, let alone a person doing a mammogram. What are the odds, bro? I don't know if you guys have ever had a mammogram. I've been with people that have mammograms before. The people that do mammograms, dude, they're just trying to get their job done, okay? Like, they're just trying to d get the shit, squish the boob, and get you out. That's what they're trying to do. And that's fine, dude. It's like getting blood work done. I'm trying to get out of there fast as hell. So I don't know what nurse is out there literally squishing your boob and going i'm probably gonna need to do that again recreationally that sounds really unprofessional i don't know it like made my day because she was just like you have such a pretty face she said that I that's also a really disrespectful comment i don't know if anybody peeps how disrespectful it is to say that you have a really pretty face because like if somebody says you have a really pretty face uh <laughs> What about the rest? Like, what about my arms? What about my ankles? What about my kneecaps? Like, what about the back of my kneecaps? What about my, you know, fifth chin or whatever, dude? Like, if somebody says you have a pretty face, which is a lie, I, it is uh, not a good compliment. It's it's okay. It's like, thank you. I guess I'll take it. But it's not the one you want to hear. It's the, the one you want to hear is you are pretty, not your face is pretty. That's really disrespectful because, like, they're inadvertently telling you that you're busted from the face down. As I was walking out, and I don't know, it was just super sweet. So at work today, it was kind of cool. Like, I literally was complimented over 30 times. Bro, it's, it's, look, dude, it's such, I don't know who Amber thinks she is, dude. And I don't even know why you would even specialize, specialize something like this. Like, okay, hear me out, guys. Dude, you won't believe this, okay? I was at the grocery store and I was at the cashier 
And there was, bro, this cashier was flirting with me, bro. Like, she was actually flirting with me. I almost couldn't believe this shit. But I was sitting there, and I had all my stuff ready. And then I paid for it, and I almost couldn't believe this. Like, right at the end of the interaction, before I, like, left to leave the store, this girl literally was like, I couldn't believe this, dude. Like, she obviously wanted me. She was like, here's your receipt. <laughs> bro, like calm the fuck down you know what i'm talking about dude like ask me for my number first bro get my instagram or something dude like dude, you're moving way too fucking fast right now dude calm down no that's exactly what amber lynn does bro that's what that is what are you talking about what what do you mean you got 30 compliments what what are the what are the 30 compliments dude oh my bad i thought you were a truck is that the compliment is that the fucking truck is, is that the is that the is that the compliments dude and by the way i've been with people that are like literally 10 out of 10 in terms of being very attractive, dude, and they don't even get 30 compliments a day. That's crazy, bro. Like, where are you where you're getting 30 compliments a day, bro? I'm not kidding. Just, like, about my... It's such a weird thing to brag about, too, because you can obviously tell she's super insecure about the way that she looks, so she has to say this stuff to make it seem like she's not insecure. Like, it's, like, validation, but it's made-up validation. So, it's... It's actually sad. Or on my makeup or how beautiful I looked or my outfit. Like, it was so sweet. And the first compliment I got was from actually my co-worker. But someone just complimented my outfit. And I just thought it was, like, the sweetest thing. I'm like, okay. We actually... That... Co bro, your outfit was must. That shit was bad. Worker, but someone just complimented... That shit is busted, my bro. Looking like Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas if she ate Ooga Booga, bro. That... No way, bro. No way. You telling me somebody gonna randomly walk up to you in a Walmart and be like, yo, you looking real right today. No, bro, why you? Why do you feel the need to lie about stuff like this? It's so weird. Like, it, like, of all the things you can lie about, this is one of the most unbelievable stuff. But, and I just thought it was like the sweetest thing. I'm like, okay. We actually went to the casino. I don't know if it's the bomb ass eyeliner. I don't know if it's the dress. Long story short, I made quite a few friends, got some numbers. Bro, she's such a fucking liar, bro. And I just, I just don't understand it. I personally will never understand how people can lie so heavily about stuff like this. And it's not maintainable because like if somebody calls you out on this or if somebody tries to be like, oh, tell us about that time you went to the casino, she's not going to remember this because it never happened. So the great thing about a lie is that in the moment, it suffices, right? You can lie in the moment. I'm sure it's fine. But later on, it becomes an issue because now you don't remember that you lied because it's actually not a part of your lore. You don't remember it because it never happened. And you, you you have to now recall the time that you said something that was obviously not true. So for Amber Lynn, who has been caught multiple times lying, this is such a crazy ass thing to lie about. Oh yeah, guys, I made a lot of friends. Amber Lynn has an inability to make friends. She literally is the most antisocial individual on the entire planet while she has a social media presence, dude. I don't know why she always feels the need to be like, oh yeah, no guys, I have so many friends. Girls want to have sex with me. I'm just so hot. Dude, get, hop off your own meat. There was a lot of guys out that I guess likes a bigger girl. <laughs> Yo, shut up, dude. Yo, shut up, bro. Shut up. That's crazy, bro. Who? Who did that? Dudes was walking up to you and be like, damn, man, Berlin, you looking real right. Let me get your number. Who? Who did that? Really? You got you got video proof? Can you strap a GoPro to your dome and just so we can see that shit? I don't believe this, bro. I don't and you know how I don't believe it, bro. Amberlynn's like a two. I'm not afraid to admit that. Amberlynn's like a two out of ten. I'm at least a five. And I don't get approached. I don't get approached at all. I mean, granted, I get approached by men, but like maybe once a year, twice a year, three times a year at most. For Amberlynn to be like, oh yeah, I got approached by like 30 guys, bro. What are you talking about, bro? Hit me up with those statistics one more time, bro. I know I'm better looking than you. But there was this one guy in particular after I was like complimented by tons of other guys. <laughs> it was so funny. How many tons of other guys are there? Like tons would literally imply you don't even know anymore because there was so many. This one guy called me gorgeous and then... Maybe a minute later, my mom goes, oh my god, those other two guys were just looking at and you. And you were with your mom? You were getting complimented by dudes and you was with your mom? Uh. You and I was like, mom, it's okay. And she was like, they called you mommy. And I was oh. like, <sighs> oh, shit. Bro, it's not even something to joke about, bro. This is cringe. This is beyond cringe, matter of fact, bro. What do you mean they called you mommy? Who? Who were these guys, bro? What are you talking about? Who was calling you mommy? Was it a whole bunch of like nine-year-olds or like four-year-olds, bro? I was like, yeah, mom, that's something that people say. It's fine. 
And you just go, and you just go like, yeah, it happens. I mean, you know how it is. Like, you know how it is, mom. I just get, dudes just want me. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, I'm just really attractive. I mean, look at me. You know, as you look at it, you hear that like foghorn. <clears throat> that is Amberlynn Reed. You're telling me this happens so frequently that when your mom was literally like, whoa, they called you mommy. And then you go, I know. I mean, look, mom, it happens, right? You're not the only mom here. Let me tell you that. <laughs> what are you fucking talking about? This happens a lot. How come you've never talked about this ever time? But how, what is this, a passive ability? Like 20% chance somebody will call you mommy? But there was this one guy in particular who was like wanting to buy me drinks and he was like following me around everywhere because I like to like go to different machines. He couldn't stop hugging me. He even um, you let him hug you? Who is this guy? Who is this person? I'm not letting just random people hug me, dude. If I'm outside, even if it's a girl and somebody goes in for a hug, I'm okay. I'm all right with that. You're, you're real good in your own personal space. I'm all right here by myself. We can have a conversation, dude, but you're following me around slot machines. For some reason, Amber says stuff sometimes, and I go, that's weird, Amber. That's really weird. But then again, we're literally talking about the girl that's coming up with like elaborate storylines in her head to justify her extent of being fat. So I guess it really doesn't matter. This story is probably fake too. He gave me $20 for my machine. Then he started saying things like, I like you a lot and like looking at me like that. I have never been so complimented in my life. Um, I gave my number, I think to one of the guys and- Why? You're a lesbian. Aren't you like full force lesbian? Aren't you like ew penis? Aren't, what are you like? What are you talking about, bro? How are you a full force lesbian and you're over here like, yeah, I guess I'll give this guy my phone number. Why? You love vagina, right? Am I wrong? He ended up calling. It was at four. Bro, why is everything all? I'm sorry. This is the way Amber speaks. Every sentence has to end in a question mark. He, I gave this guy my phone number, and then he ended up calling. What are you, why are you surprised if you give somebody your phone number that they'd end up calling? Graham, it's like, you know what he wanted. If calling at 4 a.m., you know? When I went to my appointment today, I saw three people in total and two of them complimented them. <laughs> Yo, Amber, real deal, just be looking for fucking compliments, bro. That'd be like somebody with a tattoo on their arm going like, yeah, guys, so anyway, oh, man. Oh, yeah, it's just been a really tough day today, and I don't know, like, I I don't know. I've, like, I had to do a lot of stuff. I had to put on socks and shoes as a precautionary message. I had to go outside, um, and I don't, like, that's literally what Amber did. Like, oh, my God, somebody complimented me on my shoes today. I don't know why anybody would compliment me on my shoes, you know? I just don't really get it. <sighs> I just don't know why anybody would compliment me on my shoes. Like, what are you doing right now? Why are you saying that? You, 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 so, so what I'm actually hearing here is Amber Lynn didn't actually get complimented on her nails, but she wants you to compliment her on her disgusting $80 nail set that she probably got in some Vietnamese nail salon or something. I hope so. That's the authentic nail salons. I don't know what people in Europe get, but that's what we have here. You go into a Vietnamese nail salon, they're already asking questions, right? You go in there and they're screaming at you. They go, uh, what the hell, what the hell are you looking for today? You want to get your nails done? How much, uh, how much you got in your wallet right now? We only take cash, sorry, no. We don't take, uh, we don't take the American uh, Express. Go ahead, go ahead and sit down right here. Uh, I'll be here in 25 minutes. Go ahead and suck your nails inside of this. That's what they do, bro. I've been in these nail salons, dude. I've navigated through this shit. I know how to get the proper price, too. I have negotiated with so many Vietnamese nail salons at this point. It's always crazy too because they always overestimate the price. They always tell you it's going to be like $80. Nah, nah, I know you, nah, it's not $80. You're lying. You're lying, bro. Because the Puerto Rican nail salon down the street, they'll do it for $65. So I know you can get that at least, right? I know what I'm doing. Look, I know what I'm doing. So what just happened here is I had to click off because the guy that I said hi to, he complimented my hair, asked me what Why? I was that shit is, that shit is bust. I was doing tonight, looked at the food in my cart, which at that point I was about to check out and he was like, damn, that's a lot. Damn, big belly bitch. Like you eating all this. Yeah, that makes sense. Invite me over and I'll cook for you. I was Who? Who did that? Who? Who did that? Who's having... Somebody really got to let me know right now, okay? Let me know right now. 
do you have examples of this too as well? Women, please let me know. Are you just randomly out at a grocery store, minding your own business, shopping, and guys coming through looking at your TV dinners inside? Because that's what Amberlynn eats. Looking at your TV dinners and go, yeah, girl. You might as well invite me over so I can cook you some food. Yeah. Is that what's happening, dude? Let me know. I've never been approached by a girl before in a supermarket. That sounds weird. It was like... Someone just complimented my hair. Shut the fuck up, bro. Can you imagine Amber Lynn rolling up in a fucking Walmart on a cart and a dude going, yeah, girl, you looking real right right now. <laughs> it's never going to happen, bro. It's never going to happen, bro. She on the scooter and dude's coming up to her. Get the hell out of here, bro. Where your eyebrows at? I'm not mad about it. So... And the lady checking me out at the cashier. No. Oh my God, she was so sweet. And she gave me a little sticker, but she was talking about protein. And then we kind of got on the topic of my weight loss. What? Okay, everything got to revolve around our weight loss. Don't get me wrong. I've had some times where I was at the cashier. I'm a talkative individual. It just depends. Some people are a little bit more talkative than others. If I smell that the person don't want to talk, I don't want to talk. It's, it's okay. I'm, I'm more like a matching energy type person. So... If I'm in line and there's like an old lady that wants to talk about her grandkids, dude, I'm totally fine with talking about your fucking grandkids, dude. While I'm up here scanning my produce, dude, I don't care. Like you're scanning my shit, I don't, whatever, bro. But uh, never in my life have I ever. I've had people compliment me on my efficiency, how fast I am at checking out, and how fast I am at uh, bagging shit. Because like a lot of people don't bag a lot of like they don't hire people anymore to bag stuff, so you have to do it yourself. And I've had people literally be like, you are, you're really fast. You're really efficient. I go, I know. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, totally fine with that. No problem at all. Please compliment me on my efficiency. I am literally efficient at mostly everything I can do. I literally try to eat as fast as humanly possible because I don't like eating. I personally just think that it's not there. I don't, I, if I had the option to not eat and then also get all the nutrients from that, I would do that. So she gave me this sticker. She literally put it on me and she was like, good job. Congratulations. Like, she was so sweet. And then she was like, come back and tell me your progress. We believe in that. Loved it. I smell great. That is a crazy ass way to start a co this conversation, dude. Are you are you telling me or? I get complimented on it. Am I always smelling great? Probably not. People get a little sweaty here and there. It is maybe a little bit more than here or there. Like I only really get sweaty here, here, and then maybe like in a different spot. Maybe every once in a while, right? Depending on what I'm doing. That's it. But for you, here, there, 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 there. Like, you got a lot of theirs. That's all I'm going to say, bro. And a lot of that stuff, it adds up. And the sense, the smell starts multiplying. Because you got to think about it, dude. It's not. It's like a boom box, right? Two boom boxes simultaneously, that's double the sound right but 100 boom boxes that's basically what amber lynn reed is you have two armpits but now you have 50 armpits all across your body obviously they're not really armpits but you know what i'm talking about and amber lynn has already gone on record that she has not taken a shower for an entire year at one point so uh and because she was bedridden she couldn't physically get out of bed to take a shower and wash herself so think about that does she smell good uh probably not is what it is but what i'm trying to say is overall some of the things that i see about people saying i smell like tuna cottage cheese like what the heck is that i smell good your your foundation don't match though you you could say that but your foundation don't match look listen dude you're gonna be a girly pop dude you're gonna you're gonna try to like maximize the makeup look even though you look like a bag of goldfish you're gonna need to do something about it okay look your face makeup too bright for the neck why do i get it you have no neck but i can kind of see it when you lift it up a little bit it doesn't blend properly this is too dark down here can we please match foundation can we please match foundation i'm sick of i'm si i shouldn't be the guy i really shouldn't be the guy who am i i'm a heterosexual man that has ingested the sensation of a woman's vagina i know i should not know what is up what is going wrong with your foundation and your ma your inability to match it get your shit together amber okay if you can't do your makeup you have accomplished nothing people saying i smell like tuna cottage cheese like what the heck is that truthful probably i mean maybe not tuna tuna is a little bit i know a lot of people don't like the sensation of tuna the smell the aura but personally i don't think it's that bad it just depends on like how long you're around it. If somebody was in a room and smelled like tuna compared to what Amber Lynn might, might, might smell like, bro, I'm literally putting my nose directly on the guy with the tuna. I'm just. I smell good. I do. Oh, get this. Crystal was 
sitting somewhere and I went to go get like a little clip of Olaf. Some guy came up to me and he's like making small talk and stuff and he shook my hand. And then he goes, Why? do you want to hang out later tonight? And well, who is going up to a girl and going, hello there? <laughs> hello, wow, how are you doing today, sir? How are you doing, ma'am? Do you want to hang out later? Who is this guy? Who are these people, bro? These are the most unrealistic scenarios I've ever heard in my entire life. And why do they happen so frequently to you? And yet I've never, ever in my entire life ever had them happen to me or knew anyone that has ever happened to them. It just seems really weird that Amber has some, like, it almost kind of seems like she has a great kind of, like, people just want to approach her even though she's unapproachable in, like, every other scenario. And I'm like, no, sorry. It Damn. was so weird. I was like, okay, that's flattering, but weird. What do you mean it's flattering? If a guy goes up to you and is like, hey, you want to hang out? His dick is literally out. Like, he's thinking about penis. And you going, like, I'm flattered. Like, there's nothing to be flattered about. If a dude walked up to me and was like, yo, you trying to gobble me off right now? You think I'd be like, bro, pfft, thanks. Uh, nah, but thanks. I'm not doing that because I'm not trying to swallow gobbled meat. Um, I did have a boyfriend. and Really? Is this true? Damn, I heard greased. His name was Nathan. And I was doing my makeup and he looked at me and he said, Ooh, what is that on the side of your chin right there? My bad, the side of your chins. Is that a chicken bone? Why you got a chicken bone on the side of your cheek right there? What is that? Is that what he said? If you were skinny, you would be the hottest. He's already lying, dude. He's just trying to make you feel better, but that's a pfft. Amber Lynn would look pretty good if she was thinner. I'll agree with that. Not the hottest. That's a crazy ass thing to say. He was just being nice. Most attractive girl on this whole planet. Yeah, he was lying, bro. We all do it. We all do it. You know, I've dated women before and I always, you know, hey, bro, you got the fattest ass in all the land. Your ass is literally the apex of human being capacity. It's actually kind of unbelievable how delightfully plump your butt cheeks are. Can you... Can I see him real quick? Can I look at upon your butt cheeks right now? I wish to domesticate them with my hands and gaze upon them even closer than is appropriate. Can I do that for you right now? Can you please bestow upon me the butt cheeks of your body on my face? I would love that. It's cool. It's cool. You can say that. Oh, wow. You're the prettiest girl in the world. But I'm always going to keep it a buck with you. If you hit me up and you go, listen, David, does this look musty? Yeah, that shit look really musty. And it looks really bad. And you look kind of not the best right now, dude. Did you sleep properly last night? You look like Kermit the Frog. It's it's not the best. Yeah, there are times, it's okay, that you're going to maybe gas up your girl, which never happens to me, by the way. Like, I've never been in a relationship before where somebody said, David, oh my God, you just look so good today. Like, wow, your mustache is like peak. Your mustache is peak. And your arm hair is thick thick i've never had that never not that it would really apply to me because i don't really like physical compliments personally i prefer more compliments based on what i'm capable of doing like compliment me on my work ethic compliment me on my video game skills compliment me on my star wars lore that stuff is more important to me um i actually really don't like it when somebody says i look good i don't like that like it's hey, thank you thank you but uh personally i don't really care i love getting the letters, the letters. what are you wearing here dude what is this some kind of like snow white and the 12 diabetes I'm, I'm sorry they're so cute oh my god i got one today nathan hi um you asked if i would date you so if you're watching um i'm actually a lesbian who how two nathans really two nathans hit so you dated a nathan and a nathan hits you up bro wow um really is that really what's happening and don't get me wrong i've had people hit me up before and they go david um are you gay are you okay with ingesting my genitalia i need listen suck me off I, i've had that happen to me before but i'm not eligible right now for for male entertainment i'm not trying to satisfy men with my mouth in any way i'm not trying to be satisfied by men i'm sorry it is what it is i know there are a lot of men out there and maybe a few women that want to be satisfied orally by the sensation of my mouth i've been told that my mouth is apex uh beyond good and uh, I can't do that. I'm sorry. Like, it's, you know, if you want it, then you better put a ring on it type shit. You know, that's all I'm saying. But it seems pretty cringe to be on a live stream and be like, Nathan, look, I'm sorry, but, like, I'm sorry if I can't date you because, like, I'm a lesbian. Like, oh, that's the reason. Yeah. Um, you asked if I would date you. So, if you're watching, um, I'm actually a lesbian. So, I didn't feel like writing you back to tell you that because that's, that's a lot. That is the, what do you mean that's a lot? How is that a lot? How is it a lot to be like, hey, um... First of all, what what girl, what 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 guy is hitting you up going, hello, uh, do you want to be my girlfriend? 
Nobody's doing that. That's a weird thing to ask. Nobody's nobody. How do you even initiate a conversation like that? That's not even how relationships work. You don't go, do you want to be my girlfriend right now sometime? Do you want to do that today? Nobody does that. What are you like five? So yeah, it's like, can you go on a date with me? And you reply with, it's a lot to reply with. To be like, sorry, I, I'm a lesbian. What do you, what is that? Like three words? Sorry, I'm a lesbian. That's four words. You couldn't write four words, but you could verbalize them. Okay. All right, Amber. Like, Keep lying, bro. You're doing well. You're, you're doing it up good. All right, guys. That's the end of the video today. So if you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate it for everybody to leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video. All those things I'd appreciate tremendously. Um, if you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in paper. I feel like paper needs a little bit more representation. We don't use it anymore. And when you do see somebody using it, they're usually weird. I'm playing. You're probably really cool. But... Um, sometimes I like to walk around with a pen because I feel like having a pen on you makes you look a lot more adult-like, but you never have an opportunity to pull out a pen because nobody ever asks, hey, does anybody have a pen? So you never actually need to have a pen. So this whole thought process actually doesn't make any sense. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You're a beautiful specimen of human being. I want to emphasize this really quickly. When you apply chapstick or when you, when you apply like Vaseline's and things like that, why? Why do you need to do that when your lips are already so incredibly moist and beautiful? Why do you need to do that? Uh, I also want to know how long has it been uh, that you haven't told us that you are the reason why all these companies have moisturizing products because they just basically farm off of your flakes because they're already so incredibly moisturized. Wow, I can't believe that. We're literally using your divinity, your amazing good skin to make to let us have good skin as well. That's amazing. Thank you so much. I appreciate all of the good skin products. Thank you. I wouldn't have been able to do it without you because you're such an amazing person naturally. But uh, anyway, we're going to end the video here. Uh, if you want to check out my social medias, will be linked down below. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace.